Auzubillahiminashshaitanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu To all the viewers and students And I welcome you all to another tutorial lecture on change management I'm Sufiullah Shingari The topics which are going to be discussed uh, in this session are The examples of failed change management projects we're going to discuss three examples of the change management projects which have been uh, failed. Uh, these are the common uh, examples uh, in projects, uh, not from a particular organization, but actually these are the general examples uh, that normally these sort of changes around the world uh, in organizations have failed. Uh, so let's you know discuss uh, these three examples and also uh, the lessons you know learned from these examples. Uh, that you know why the projects have been uh, have been uh, failed and what lessons have been learned you know from failed uh, change management projects uh, so let's proceed to uh, all these three examples uh, all right before you know we're going to talk about uh, the three failed change management projects uh, at first uh, let's talk about you know that uh, change uh, as you know that uh, it's it's something inevitable uh, the organizations, they have to adopt changes, uh, they have to introduce changes with the passage of time. Uh, and as you have studied, you know, in, our, in your previous lectures, that these change uh, may be forced either by the internal or external environments of the uh, business. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, aggregately we can say that a change is something that it has to be brought. Uh, it has to be, uh, you know, adopt. Uh, either from the external or from the internal environment of the business uh, in order to survive. Uh, and mostly organizations, you know, uh, they are planning the change in, in, and they are just, you know, making sure that the change process should go successfully uh, and, and, and the change uh, should bring some positive results to the organization and it should be a successful project. Uh, but uh, not all the change management processes uh, have to be successful. Some change management pro projects, uh, so they can be failed due to uh, lack of planning or lack of resources, uh, or there can be you know like like you know many uh, reasons. Uh, maybe the change is not adopted, or the change is not you know uh, implemented correctly, uh, or or in a positive way. So a large uh, proportion of the change process in enterprise fail, uh, mostly you know uh, in the enterprises. Uh, the changes, you know, they are failed. Even, you know, some of the research shows that more than 70 to 80 percent changes uh, are failed uh, in the enterprises whenever the management is adopting the changes. So that their change process failed. It means, you know, resulted negatively. Uh, the estimates vary depending on which source is consulted. But often, however, there are figures which indicate that 60 to 80 percent, or it might be 7 to 80, to 80 percent, in, in even some research shows 85 percent of the plan change process are not successful. Uh, reasons can be different, as I said before. Uh, it might be because of the resources, because of lack of planning, because of the wrong time of introducing change, because of lack of the support of the shareholders. So these can be different reasons that the chain management projects from 70 to 80 or from 60 to 80 percent are failed. Uh, let's you know, discuss some of the examples uh, of those change projects uh, which are generally failed uh, in the uh, corporations or in the or enterprises. Uh, the first example is the introduction of the new software has failed because later nobody really works with it. Uh, mostly it happens uh, whenever uh, the organization is adopting uh, a new technology. Uh, as you know that, uh, technological changes you know, can come from internal or from the external environment uh, where business needs to change according to development uh, in the technology. So while uh, the organization is adopting a technological change, introducing a new software, so they do introduce, you know, many organizations, they introduce the new technology, new software for their working processes. But uh, this, this project in many organizations have failed uh, because of that, you know, uh, once, you know, the, 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 the software or the new technology is introduced, after some time, nobody works on it, nobody knows about it. So it can be because of the lack of training or because of uh, the lack of, you know, skillful 
uh, employees uh, or maybe you know uh, the organization itself uh, didn't emphasize the change or didn't follow up or uh, did not you know monitor or, or evaluate uh, the change so this is you know one factor this is one change project uh, which has failed generally in many organizations uh, the reason the software has too many features uh, which employees cannot remember so uh, mostly uh, the software uh, projects uh, have changed uh, because of what that the employees they do not know about the features or maybe the softwares they have you know many features to remember as i said before that the employees they may not be that much skillful or they they haven't received you know proper training about you know those technologies uh, so it can be the reason that you know these sort of uh, projects of change are failed in organization and some features are not wanted or necessary so uh, you know in the technology uh, part maybe some of the features or things were not necessary but the company introduced this has made the software so complicated uh, so that's no, no, no longer used uh, if, if I give you the example for this uh, recently uh, because of you know uh, the COVID-19 uh, virus which uh, started in uh, because of the outbreak of this virus uh, many organizations uh, or institutes I should say universities uh, they have launched their online classes and they have, uh, you know, used many uh, different softwares uh, like, you know, they use, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft Team Weaver, they use Zoom, uh, they use, you know, their LMS programs or some other uh, softwares uh, in order to, to teach their students online. Uh, but, uh, you know, most of, most of the organizations, they felt uh, very, uh, you know, hard and also the employees in those organizations, they were feeling the heat because you know, they didn't have you know, that much skill to use this sort of stuff. Uh, so that's why most of the universities, even if we see in Afghanistan, they stopped you know, uh, their online uh, uh, services. Uh, so uh, we, we can say this is you know, a very a real life example of you know, uh, a, 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 like, like a, a fair change project. Uh, these organizations, they launch, uh, as I said before, uh, softwares or they use, you know, some systems uh, in order to teach, you know, students online. Uh, but majority of the institutes or universities have failed with their move, with their change. Uh, they couldn't deliver the best. Uh, so this is, you know, one real life example. Hope you understand that. Uh, the next example is the introduction of a new work schedule to help the sales stuff fail. Uh, many of time it happens that the organization, uh, they are just, you know, implying or imposing, uh, you know, a very uh, tough or a hard schedule, you know, for sales uh, stuff, uh, which is the most important uh, for the organization success, because, you know, this is, you know, a source of revenue or a source of uh, cash generation, uh, which you know that cash is the most important for, for the life of the organization. So uh, it happens that this sort of change also failed whenever you know you are making or renewing or rescheduling uh, the work of the sales stuff uh, and then you are you know applying a new schedule you know on the sales stuff this this change particularly have have failed you know, in the organization based on the research uh, the new work schedule however had the prerequisites that every staff member should be available on mobile phone 24 7. for example some of the organization have asked uh, their sales uh, stuff to be present on phone 24 7 it means you know seven days in a week 24 hour uh, if they're receiving any phone call from the customers or from from any uh, prospect customers they have to answer which is impossible this naturally resulted in the sales stuff feeling controlled by the company uh, whenever uh, you need to be 24 7 ready and also present on phone so the sales stuff felt that uh, actually they are controlled by the companies it means they do not have kind of freedom or they do not have you know a rest time or uh, they, they are just you know like 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 you know a burden uh, on work or they are just like like uh, you know uh, kind of you know in a controlled situation in, in any company uh, guess you're a control maker now. and nobody wants uh, to work in such an environment to be controlled fully in hundred percent so the new work schedule was eliminated after a short time in the companies, they have to just, you know, remove this uh, schedule, uh, you know, uh, this change has failed. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, the, the, 
the, the famous organizations or a very large size organizations, multinational organizations, for them, which is very important, even you know, if they're salespersons uh, in one or two minutes, they're making billions of dollars income. Uh, so that's why they're making a very difficult and a very tough schedule. Uh, so uh, this is one of a change project that normally it failed uh, in many of the organizations uh, for, for rearranging the schedule of the sales staff, then implementing a very hard schedule on them, and suddenly the response comes very negative. It means they're not supporting the change. Uh, and they're feeling kind of burden. So after some time, the organization uh, has to eliminate uh, the change and just, you know, finish. So it means once the change is finished or it's eliminated, so it means, you know, the change has been failed. Example number three is reorganization of a company with the shutdown of selected subsidiaries. Uh, uh, what it means, uh, actually, uh, let's, you know, first uh, talk about uh, the subsidiary that what uh, exactly subsidiary means. Uh, as you know that uh, we have various types of company, uh, like you know, we have a sister company, we have parent company, we have daughter company. So these are the different types of company. Uh, whenever the businesses, they're acquiring other companies, so they're naming them, uh, or they have you know, kind of relations. Uh, whenever, uh, like, like you know, a parent company is a company which is uh, the acquiring company. Uh, you may have studied these topics, uh, in strategic management. So a parent company is a company which is acquiring another company. And a subsidiary company uh, has been set up or acquired by another company. That's usually uh, either larger or a famous to public. Yani uh, a subsidiary company umi bosha ki ura ya company bakhara kharidari kana. Wa kodam company ki ra kharidari me kana ura parent company mega. Uh, so mostly, uh, mostly the companies they're acquiring other businesses uh, in order to grow, uh, in order to grow vertically or horizontally, and also uh, improve their supply chain, uh, and also they want uh, to to have you know risk management. It means they are not you know putting their eggs in one bag, uh, so or in one basket. So that's why they are investing in different businesses. In the time that company is company to acquire me, because company is the company that makes the company. Well, the parent me was a company that subsidies me was a. So sometimes it happens that the organization is reorganization a company with shutdown of the selected subsidies. But when parent company does. او باز سبسیدریز کمپنی را که خریده او را مثال پس یا مفروشه یا مثال چینجز میاره تغییرات میاره و اداره خود پس ری ارگنائز میکنه دوباره ترتیب میکنه خو ضرور مثال ای بزنس از از که ای را ای را مفروشه یا کلوز میکنه دیس کلوزرز هف نات بین کمیونیکیتد و اکثر اندر موردی کلوزنگ که ای سبسیدری کمپنی را کلوز میکنه یا مفروشه در موردی زی با امپلویزی ای کمپنی چیز گفته نمیشه و زمانی که باید گفتن میشه وی یک چینجی بسیار کلان است که کمپانی وارد میکنن اگه این کمپانی را کلوز میکنه از بین میبره سو so, uh, تقریبا یو نو می بی 100 تو 2000 امپلویز یو نو دی ار گوینگ تو بی جاب لیس بٹ موسٹلی دس نیوز از ناٹ کمیونیکیٹڈ ٹو دی امپلویز بٹ انفورچونیٹلی دی امپلویز لرن اف ایٹ فرام ادر سورسز زمانی کہ یوز دیگا سورسز خبر میشا the more it is he, uh, so the management still claim that, you know, it would not close the offices. So management was not going to close my company. So mostly because of this, you know, uh, the employees, they are becoming nervous. Uh, and, 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 you know, they stop their cooperation or they are not uh, supporting this change. Uh, so mostly, you know, these, these sort of changes, uh, they're failed. Uh, you know, the company, uh, like, like, you know, couldn't close that office because of, because of, you know, like, like the employees, uh, because of their nervousness, because of uh, uh, their lack of support, that they're not supporting, you know, the parent company. So these sort of changes normally uh, happen to be failed changes in the organizations. Uh, let's talk about, you know, the lessons, you know, learned from these examples. Uh, number one, often good intentions lead to negative consequences. Uh, it's it's very clear sentence. It means uh, wh while the organizations they're bringing change, so their intentions are uh, like positive. It means they have good intention, but actually they lead to negative uh, consequences. It means you know from their positive intentions, even they can get negative results. They want to bring the change. They want to improve. They want to develop. But suddenly, if the change uh, happen to be failed, so their results are negative. This is one lesson learned from the. Uh, you know, uh, like, like, you know, uh, fail change. 
Uh, in many cases, the responsible change management only receives positive feedback. One thing more that we learned, even you know, the change agent or the change manager uh, who have been failed to bring a positive change receives uh, positive feedback about the consequences of his mistakes and still believes, you know, this is this is amazing. Uh, still, the change uh, manager believes that his procedure was correct. So this is you know one of the lesson we learned. It means the change managers. Uh, they never accept their fault and their responsibility for the failed change project. Uh, people natural believes in self-protection mechanism. So uh, normally one of the things learned from the change, uh, the failed change project is this, that people naturally believes in self-protection mechanism. It means everybody wants to uh, be safe, his position or job should be safe. So uh, it is called a connotation mistake or ascription mistakes. So this is a mistake of what connotation mistake? Ida ida connotation mistakes mega. Ke har kas tana mega ya ke khuda safe kona, job khuda safe kona. Wo dinami mechanism ke as bawar wa believe dora. This mistake implies that success of other people are ex uh, exceeding to circumstances, in that the failure of other people, on the other hand, uh, ascribed to themselves. Ya ke dodas mardum maujud me bosha ke wo mistake mardum ke as. او را به خودش رابطه میتا یعنی مستیک اگر کدام نفر مستیک کد دیگه ای را رابطه میتا به خودش که مانا غلطی خودش بود لیکن اگر اونمو شخص کامیاب میشه در زندگی خود کامیابی زورا که است رابطه میتا به حالات لیکن زمانی که نمارد خود تصمیم میگره یا فیصله میکنه کامیابی خود که است کردیتش به خود میتا it was you know it was me that I did this when no kamiy khuda kya sura baraks ba halat ra bata meta. So this is you know one of the lesson learned. Aksaran amrai change managers hiyam wakay mesha ke zamane ke change managers successful change amyara so they are giving credit to themselves. Lekin ech wak ba employees credit na meta ba digara credit na meta. Lekin zamane ke change fail mesha. Nega aksaran ami failer kya s ira ba khud ra bata na meta ira ba digara ra bata meta ya ba halat ra bata meta. So this is one of the lesson learned from. Uh, the examples of change, uh, failed change projects. We feel uh, reverse for ourselves. Uh, so this is a lesson that we have learned from the change management project and also the failed change projects.